CBS 2 investigator Dave Savini is on the case of a teen who says he was repeatedly hazed during his high school's football summer camp. But when he reported the assault to his coaches, the teen told Dave that things only got worse for him. Every time you heard smoke, somebody was getting bent over. Anthony Brookman said smoke was the trigger word for a hazing ritual on his high school football team. He says he was an incoming freshman when he got smoked by bigger and older players at a school-sponsored summer football camp here at Reed Custer High School in Braidwood. I was yelling for help, just screaming, crying, be barely breathing. He said it happened three times in two months. The third, he said, involved them attempting to assault him sexually. They put the shirt over my head, took my shorts off to my ankles. He was rushed to the hospital. They put him through a rape test. Uh, and that, that's, that's about what broke me down. Brookman's parents say they reported their son's attack to the head football coach. If we're out here to talk about this hazing case. Sure. The head coach at the time, Mark Wolf, wouldn't talk to us about the hazing allegations. What, what, what went on? All, uh, all questions right now are being asked to be responded through to the superintendent's office. We've learned Braidwood police did investigate and the Will County State's Attorney's Office charged three players as juveniles with aggravated battery in a public way, a felony. As a coach, as a former coach, what do you have to say about hazing in general? Brookman says after the charges, he started to get bullied for coming forward and life got even worse as other students started piling on bullying him. Um, they would just tell me to kill myself. Brookman just recently switched to a new school. The three teens are back in court in January. If convicted, they could get anywhere from probation to being locked up until they are 21. Braidwood School Superintendent would not talk about Brookman's case and just said they have policies they follow about behavior. Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators.